So hi everyone. Recently, Hugging Face has released a new multi AI agent framework that is Hugging Face Small Agents. I think you might be hearing about this particular framework a lot. I'm really sorry to cover this a little late, but nevertheless, better late than never. So in this particular tutorial, I would be running through what is small agents, how it is different from other agentic frameworks like Langgraph, Orbit, Autogen, and what is its USP, what are some problems, and then eventually we will move on to a basic application using small agents. So let's get started. So I think before we jump on to small agents, one thing is for sure that AI agents are to be in 2025 everywhere because towards the late 2024, we have now multiple AI agent frameworks that has been released. Microsoft owns three multi-agent frameworks. As you can see, Autogen, Magentic One, Tiny True, OpenAI Release Swarm, AWS Release Multi-Agent Orchestrator, Langgraph QA already existed. So there's just too many frameworks now and small agent is the new in the list. Now, what are small agents? Basically, it is a lightweight library. As the team boasts, it has code less than 1000 lines, enabling building agents with minimal codes. Now, talking about the key features of small agent, what is the simplicity? I think this we all will agree. Once you see the code, it's very easy to create an agent. Code centric agent, I think this is their USP, I would say, and I will be focusing more on what does a code centric agent mean. LLM compatibility, it supports all the LLMs, local LLMs, Olama it also supports, it supports uh, any API as well. Agentic capabilities, framework allows LLMs to control workflows by writing actions and executed by external tools. Security features are also there, but I will be talking a little on this as well. Now talking about the USP code centric agents, what does this mean and why is this unique? So basically in any LLM based AI agent system, what happens is that you provide it a code, you provide it a prompt and it gives you an answer using the LLM and maintaining all the agents like discussing with them and gives you an answer. Now in case of small agents, they have a central agent called as code agent, right? Which will write code for everything you ask it, right? So basically it's not directly giving you an answer through using an LLM, but it will write a code to execute and then give you an answer. Like for example, I would be showing you. If you say how many seconds are there in five hours, it won't be calculating on its own, but rather it is trained to generate the code, how to calculate this particular thing and then execute that code and then give you an answer. So basically coding agents and other agentic framework we talk about works in this way. We provide them with a structured JSON. Each action includes a tool name, which tool to use and arguments query like current weather. But in case of uh, small agents, you there is a direct execution there is no json getting passed so i'm talking about the internals of the framework and why small agents is a little different and a unique also whether it's the best i'm not sure so in case of any other agentic framework when you ask the agent to do a task it is passed on a json file json format where the task to be done the tool to be used is search or translate for example and the query by the user now the framework reads this particular json figures out which tool to use and run the tool with given arguments. It's that easy. And it does make sense also, right? You identify which tool to use and then you execute that tool. Now, in case of small agent, as I already mentioned, it generates Python code straight away to execute everything. Now, giving an example, assume that you pass it this particular prompt, generate a sunset image and display. Now, in case of other agentic framework, this would be the input that would be going to the agent tool generate image. So basically you need to use a tool generate image and the argument to pass to that particular tool is sunset over mountains, right? And then you will be passing another call to display the image. Remember, we are asking it to generate and display also. So in one go, it can't do multiple tool calling, right? It will first call the generate image tool. Second time it will call a display image tool where you will be passing the generated image by, uh, location. Now, each step involves parsing the JSON, figuring out which tool to use and execute. The agent can't easily chain these actions together in any other agentic framework, not in case of small agents. So for the same prompt, small agent would write a code like this, generate image, display image, and hence no multiple calls, less complexity and an easier framework to use. Why small agents is better, less overhead as you saw. No need to convert JSON into tool calls just to run it. You have five calls. It is converting JSON into tool calls and leading to excessive complexity. 
great flexibility i have been coding for 10 years now and i can be make you assure that codes are the most flexible thing you can have and it can exec- it can do anything python code can handle complex task loops condition custom functions etc that json can't handle so at times you might need to provide uh, the tool the agent a very complex task but you just can't provide it because json doesn't support that now better alignment with llm training since llms are heavily trained on python code now if you especially use a coder llm i think then small agents can be a burning fire and simplified execution as you know that there is no json involved just write the code and execute this is how small agents work <clears throat> as mentioned it is compatible with all local llms and apis as well now there are certain issues with small agents uh, that you should consider before we jumping onto the codes on how to run it buggy code execution now for example assume that as we are providing an ai agent to execute codes on your system if by mistake the ai agent writes a code delete all the files now that what will happen so in that case uh, this is a little risky as well there are certain safeguards present in small agents like e2b remote execution and secure local interpreter but still it can be dangerous it is not flexible as lang graph i am a big lang graph fan and this doesn't look to be flexible enough your llm should be good at coding because it is writing codes if you go with a general llm you might not get the best results is writing code for everything necessary i don't think so like for example if you ask it to uh, help me write a blog it will write a code for that too so it just doesn't make sense for me to write uh, to use codes for executing everything but yes small agent follows a unique idea the execution is simple but still i don't think so it can be used for all the use cases now we will be going to the codes the codes are very easy to use and i will be showing you a couple of examples. now here is the code that i'm using for a very default use case so here as you can see using light llm i am setting up my olama quite 2.514b model so this is a local llm that i'm providing it and here i'm providing it with the prompt how many seconds are there in 5 hours as you can see this is just one line of code and it will be able to execute stuff for you now as you can see that this is the prompt now it will be writing a code as i will be showing you there are certain errors coming in this is the code the particular model has written to get to an answer now this is the final answer that it is able to output so the output would be considered whatever comes out of the code it will be writing code for everything now as you can see the issue with uh, hugging face small agents is that now for a prompt like this write a blog on ai it will still try to write some code to generate the blog now this doesn't make sense and as you can see there are certain errors coming in i am not sure how good the results would be i have provided a duckduckgo api as well so it, i would be able to see certain results as you can see some text is coming out but it looks unnecessary to me so with this we will be wrapping this particular post i hope you understand small agents and use it accordingly i feel that it's pretty good the idea is very good but still it's not the best out there i would say it's decent but uh, you can try out other models also and it's very use case specific i would say if you are going for calculations if you are going for reasoning i think then it can be a good go but for general task for planning not the best one i would say so i hope you try out small agents very easy to use you just need to pip install small agents import code agents if you require other things you can go for it if not not required this is just the three lines of code that is required model id api key for olama setting up the code agent tools you are it's empty for now model equals to the olama agent that i have created and added base tools that is true and just run your agent it is as easy as that as you can see some errors are coming but it's not your fault it will be giving you the final output straight away you don't need to worry about it so thank you so much i hope you try out small agents